What if each time you stepped onto that tee box, you hit longer drives with less effort? Because that is exactly what I'm told this driver will do. It's gonna be featured in today's video. So if you are struggling with your current driver setup, then we may have discovered a solution that I can guarantee you, you won't have considered. Wow. Let's drive it in today's video. First of all, it uses super light shafts, and I mean super light. There's also some unique aerodynamics in the head. And the principle is really simple. It just means you have to swing slower and you still get incredibly fast ball speeds. And honestly, what I've seen so far, I'm amazed at what this driver does. And that there is an absolute prime example about what I'm talking about. First of all, super high ball flight. The ball is going for miles off this club face in terms of what seems incredibly fast ball speed. But hopefully I've got a real slow tempo. And there's also one other thing about this driver. There's an interesting concept in the relationship between the shaft and uh, the head itself in the way that it is counterbalanced. So the driver featured in today's video comes from that Japanese brand of Zexio. This is a Zexio 12 driver. It's not exactly new to the market, but it's new to me. And if you're not even considering buying a new driver right now, I can guarantee by the end of watching this video, you might be questioning a few of the choices you made in that shaft and head relationship. This is really, really interesting. Right, now before we go any further, I need a comment from you and I need you to tell me what is the current weight of your driver shaft because what I'm about to tell you is this thing is 36 grams. That is the lightest shaft I have ever used, I've ever even heard of, to be honest with you, in a men's driver. Now, typically my driver shaft is sort of 55 to 60 grams stiff. And I'm even having to double check this thing. Yeah, it's 36 grams. And what I can't understand is just how good it is. And that is a typical example of why I am absolutely baffled because I am just not seeming to miss fairways right now with this thing. I am swinging with a super easy tempo, but never would I guess that this thing is 36 grams. And it's got me baffled right now. So the question I want to answer in today's video, which is quite a simple one, I suppose, is basically how come this 36 gram light flex shaft is working on in my hands and I feel could possibly work in many others. And the first comment that I want to make is this does not feel like a 36 gram shaft. And that's the first way I'm baffled. I thought it was going to be super light. Yes, it feels lighter in its overall taking this thing out the bag, but then swinging through uh, the full driver swing. It doesn't feel whippy. It doesn't feel light. It doesn't feel super flexible. So I'm not feeling what I think I should feel. And that's the first bit that baffles me. But the second thing is just how far it's going and how well we're managing to play with this thing. Oh my word. Honestly, this thing has got me. The video's sort of changing shape because I'm halfway thinking that it should be titled is this my new driver because yet again super high ball flight right down the middle of the fairway and the one thing this without doubt does is makes you swing that little bit slower with a greater tempo but that's maybe not to do with the weight of the shaft but more to do with this counterbalance system that is found in a lot of the XEO clubs, which is weight in the butt of the club that is counterbalanced in that swing. And it's supposed to help, sorry, in that swing, um, help you square that club face up on the downswing. Sounds a far stretch, I know, but who am I to argue? Because ultimately, they seem to do exactly what their technology suggests it should. Today's video is brought to you in association with channel travel partner Glencore Golf, and this week they've sent me out onto the Algarve in Portugal, where I will be playing three different golf courses Quinta de Val. 
Kinta de Ria and Kinta de Sima. And I'll be staying in nearby Tavera at the AP Cabanas Resort. The hotel has a modern design with stunning rooms and balcony views to match. And this resort has an all-inclusive option. Pour yourself a beer, a glass of wine, and take the hassle out of golf trip planning. The nearby town of Tavira is just minutes away. Today's video is shot at Quinta de Val, which is quite simply a beautiful golf course in superb condition and a clubhouse perfect for post round drinks with a view. So if you want more information about this golf trip itself or any other that you might be considering planning right now, then please head over to glencourtgolf.com for some more booking information. There's some other interesting little concepts within this club head and this little sort of raised profile element um, on the head itself is called active wing technology. Once again, that's uh, all about stabilization in uh, putting the club head in that position on the downswing to square up an impact. Like I said, you buy into that as you will. Rebound frame again, which is the face that you see in pretty much all the Zexio lineup and the Cleveland and Strixon uh, lineup of drivers as well. It just seems to be super hot off the fairway but the big deal about that counterbalance the lightweight shaft i've got no other option i'll be honest with you other than swing with good tempo because if you have a look at a couple of shots i'm going to overlay now it hasn't all been rosy in the garden over the last few holes and that's because i've got a little bit more aggressive in trying to swing that little bit quicker and what i found is then i've hit the ball over to the left hand side and that's been a consistent in two or three shots so for me what it's telling me is I've got to swing slow or I've got to swing with a consistent tempo because any sort of jerky movement if I try and increase that tempo swing at it a little bit faster then it's going to have detrimental effects but if you think about it that can only be a positive as long as we train our mindset to keep that tempo and rhythm in good shape. And this one's interesting again because this is into the wind and what I'd be worried about with the ball flight that we've seen so far, it is super high. Is that going to mean we're going to bloom it too high and it's going to hold in the wind? We shall see. And the answer is yes, because you may have noticed I teed that one down a little bit and we've got a lower ball flight. It's going into the wind and uh, managed to keep that down, didn't balloon it up. So really pleased with that. The, the one thing that throughout this review, very from the first tee shot that I hit this morning, I think the only thing I can say is I'm absolutely baffled and bewildered as to what this thing is doing and how we're managing to achieve the results we are right now. I think we'll have a quick look at it visually and then there's not a lot more I can say about this thing. Quick sit down under a tree and grab some shade in this heat which is oh, it's so nice. Kins of the Val by the way, I hope you've uh, took note of this golf course, looks superb. But I've just gotten off the, um, the head cover, I've just read Experience a Difference and I like the fact that it is different from what, what Zexio are doing here. It's a different concept altogether and I really like what they've done. Um, but we can't ignore, first of all, let's just talk about aesthetically. They're very, very different looking drivers. Don't forget this is a Japanese brand and I do feel they have a certain look about them. From a performance perspective, as I've already said, incredible. One other note, by the way, and... Um, it is a non-adjustable drive, it's a 10.5 head non-adjustable and again that could be deemed as a slight negative because ultimately you're going to pay a premium for this driver. It's UK pounds and yet hugely expensive so again you've got to ask yourself are you really getting the benefits that you really need for that kind of money um, but I would certainly not dismiss it at all certainly give this a go and I would think that it would be of a bit of an eye-opener and a bit of a shocker like it has been for me this morning at Kinta de Val really surprised the other interesting thing is I just wonder from a fatigue element when you've played 18 holes with this thing how do you feel because honestly it it just it's effortless in terms of swinging the thing it's so enjoyable to play uh, i've loved it to be honest with you really really shocked really surprised i've got a feeling this is a driver that mark crossfield has got in his bag and i can really understand why i might be wrong with that but yeah i think that's the case anyway i'm gonna have a drink of water a bit of a chill for a minute or two and uh, get my breath back because that was uh, a driver review that was quite unexpected and quite enjoyable at the same time right 
Thank you for watching. Plenty more to come from Quinta de Val from the Algarve in Portugal with Glencore Golf. And uh, I will see you all tomorrow night.